Hey guys, it's Kylie and welcome back to Class Cancelled. Today we're right outside of Gazetta Hall, which is the performing arts school here on campus. So they have everything to do with music, the theater department, dance, and even the orchestra. So let's go check it out. Hi guys, so we're here with Rachel Palermo. And so you teach ballet classes here, right? Yes, I actually teach ballet and I teach uh, modern one and two as well. So what got you into like choosing, I guess, like modern and ballet or was like you always into like different types of dance? Well, as a student of dance, I always started as a ballet dancer and then I was able to branch out. Actually, one of my first experiences with modern dance was here at University of Akron because I am an alum. <laughs> so uh, my early experience with modern actually came from University of Akron's modern dance classes. So what can students learn through like the ballet class that you teach here? <sighs> so many things, Kylie, <laughs> so many things. Um, so at a, at a level one, two class, uh, we're working, it's a very foundational class. So we're working on basic body alignment, um, how the muscles work. We also introduce students to the anatomy of the body. So uh, what they had previously learned is different muscle groups and how those work for the steps that you saw today in mm -hmm. class and that you got to experience <laughs> yeah. a little bit today in class. So just learning how the body works and how to facilitate safe and efficient movement practice to get these dancers set up for when they go on to ballet three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or yeah. wherever their, their dance training takes them. Did people come in already knowing ballet or was it like a fresh start? Well, you never know. Every class is different. So we always start the class by um, sharing our experience and background and then we kind of build the class from there. So as teachers, we have to have an idea of yeah. what we want to teach, um, but you also have to accommodate and meet the students where they're at as well. So what do you think like your favorite part, I guess, about teaching students here at the university and getting to be in like Gazetta Hall? Oh, there's so many things. Well, first of all, this amazing facility. I mean, look around. I wasn't fortunate enough to, I, I kind of just missed when they built this facility. Um, it was my last semester. I didn't have any dance, physical dance classes. Today. Yeah. So I got to be in a history class. <laughs> I was sitting in a lecture studio, um, but I didn't get to dance in this space. So yeah. Just being, have this facility, having um, the, just the opportunity to work with students in this setting is so exciting and just just working with the students that's the best part So I just did some of the ballet one class. I believe they also had one and two. Um, it was a lot harder than I expected for a ballet one class. Um, I was watching like some of their like feet and I don't know how their feet is able to like bend certain ways, um, especially like the teacher. She was just like bending them all sort of ways. And I was like, how? Cause like I should have been like, kind of trying to do it like them and like I got a cramp. 
when I was a kid, I wanted to do ballet and I wanted to like be a ballerina. And then like my dreams and stuff got a little crushed, but I like got to like fulfill that today. Um, doing it today though, I'm like, yeah, I probably wouldn't <laughs> have made it as a kid. I was really hoping like with the teacher like talking to me, um, especially like the people in the class had like their own routine and she would do like certain things just for me which was like really nice I mean, it was very basic moving like your feet around but like for me like it was still like ooh, like very like intense Hey guys, so we're here with Dr. Bacoy Calavan, the Director of Choral Studies here at Gazetta Hall. So we sat in on your class. What can you tell us more about like the choir class and like the environment there? Yeah, um, so first thing, a lot of people don't know that the University of Akron's choral program consists of 40% um, non-music majors, 60% music majors. So um, that's something that's available to everyone. Um, and it is a class. I like to say that it's a class because we work hard because we sound good. We are actually invited as one of the um, top collegiate ensembles in the state of Ohio. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, for Ohio Music Educators Association. So we're going to be featured as one of those top ensembles. So all of us are going to be going to Cincinnati and performing and doing what we do, a lot of what you saw in rehearsal. We have nursing majors, engineering majors, um, accounting majors, in addition to those people who are also music education majors and vocal performance majors. And it just creates a community of positivity. It's been very important for me to create a place where people can be themselves and love music with a bunch of people who might be super different from them. What got you into like choir yourself or like, Me? yeah, or like teaching? Um, so, I mean, I spent a lot of my college life not knowing what to do. And I get a lot of students who come in and come to my office hours because they're open for them. And they say, hey, I just am really confused. I don't know what to major in. And um, I think that that's really great. I think it's great to not know what to major in. I did know I wanted to be a music major, but I didn't know what kind of musician I wanted to yeah. be. So um, I, I think I just found conducting actually because I was a dancer and it just kind of fit and I, was, I played a bunch of instruments, I sang, I didn't really know and circuitously um, I had a mentor, the director of choral studies where I did my undergraduate, um, kind of guided me to see that there was a conductor inside of me and there was an educator inside of me um, and it just became a charge that I was very um, passionate about. I'm more passionate about helping college-age students be the best kind of contributors to society than anything. I mean, yes, I love music, but I love showing people that they can contribute to a community as long as they work hard towards a focus, which I think sometimes college-age students need to find. We just so happen to do it through music and by having fun yeah. in working hard. So what type of music or like songs do you guys like cover is it like a variety or is it like a certain one so i mean a lot of what we do is kind of classically based but i'm sure you saw we sing in different languages we sing in lithuanian today we sing in english we sing in german um, we do a lot of choral classics but also new works that are written by new composers today i like to think that uh the best choral programs are really versatile mm -hmm. so we do all kinds of music yeah so I'm sure since you've been the director of choral studies, has there been like any students that you've seen like graduate and then like really go on to like great things, especially with like the choir background? Sure. I mean, we have a number of students who have moved to New York and actually kind of pursued the whole musical theater route. Uh, we have lots of students who um, are successful here in choir and then also go on to become music educators themselves. 
but I'm really excited to say that uh, actually the choral program here has encouraged people to keep singing after college into the post-college life. I got a lot of people who are singing at Cleveland Orchestra, singing at Akron Symphony, um, and singing also, I have a lot of people who are making money singing, yeah. who ended up being like physics majors and, um, and uh, you know, like engineering majors. They do their day job and they sing at night because of the musicianship skills they learned here at the choral program. Yeah, which is awesome and really shows like, really, like you don't even have to be like majoring in it to really even like make money in it or like to do the program here. Yeah, that's not just music. If you work hard, that's what I want to hopefully impart upon people. If you work hard and you stay focused and dedicated and disciplined, it doesn't, I mean, it matters what you major in, but also what matters is what kind of what kind of societal member you are. Mm -hmm. And I guess it really also like really adds to like the college experience. Um, Absolutely. Having like a group of people there for you, having like a class where you feel like you can just really be yourself. And I feel like also with like choir, I never did it like in high school, but like I was in like theater. It was like, it felt very like, you know, just like an open environment. Like you could talk to anybody, like very close connected. And I felt like I also like saw some of that today. And like, you guys were like really passionate about like what you were doing. Well guys, that's our episode. I hope you enjoyed getting to see us participate in some of these classes here, and maybe you can check them out soon too. Also, make sure to follow us at Class Cancelled and subscribe to the University of Akron to see any of our future or past episodes. Well, see you guys next time when class is cancelled.